Hey guys, today I have a celebrity haul. I said I wasn't going to make celebrity perfume hauls anymore, but I've slowly but surely accumulated some more. I'm pretty sure I also told you guys in the past that all my hauls are collective hauls. I never go out and buy like 5-10 fragrances at a time. As you guys saw from my last video, I do hold on to them for the hauls. I had to train myself. It took me a long time to learn to like not open them immediately when I left the store or immediately when I get the package in. I used to just like tear through the box and just open it immediately. But I've learned some self-discipline and some self-control when it comes to unboxing them. And it's like really exciting and very satisfying to open them all at once and also to share that with you guys. So anyways, so I'll start with Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. I got this because I've recently been into more sweet perfumes. I actually never really used to like sweet perfumes. I was a warm, spicy, freshy kind of person for years. Before when I smelled this, when I wasn't into sweet fragrances like this, I didn't really like it. I thought it was a little too sweet and too juvenile. But I see everybody on TikTok likes it. And that's probably because most people on TikTok are juveniles. I don't know, it gets a lot of hype and I just wanted to test it out. How cute is this bottle? This is so adorable. I already have two other ones, so this is going to fit in perfectly with those. And you know what? My taste has completely changed because I like this. When did I become this person? Why has my taste preference gone backwards instead of maturing? Actually, it's probably done both. I also enjoy heavier florals and more mature perfumes as well. But now this doesn't smell too juvenile for me. This smells sweet, almost like marshmallowy, delicious. Very bright also. And just a tad bit like tart and maybe a tiny bit sharp. It actually smells like just like some Victoria's Secret perfume to me. So much so that it might have that weird synthetic scent that I don't like in Victoria's Secret perfumes, but we'll see. So far, it's just sweet and good. And that's kind of all there is to it. There's not a whole lot of depth, there's not a whole lot going on, just it's sweet and girly. Next I got Jay Lust by Jennifer Lopez. I was interested in this because I absolutely love the Jay Lux perfume. I recently talked about it, it's the one in the black bottle, and I absolutely adore that one. So it made me interested in the other Jay perfumes. There's another one, Jay Love, which I also got, that one's coming up next. But because I love the J Lux so much, I wanted to try this one as well. This bottle is also adorable. How cute is this? I love this. I love that like muted, it's like a muted blush color. It's adorable. This smells like something right away. This smells like something else. It smells like some type of Victoria's Secret body mist, but it smells so good. This is like a creamy, but also slightly aromatic, like green fragrance, but very, very creamy. It's so creamy that it almost smells like a lotion, like a creamy lotion that you're slathering on your body. I actually really, really like this. It's very, very nostalgic. I find that with a lot of JLo perfumes, and I think it's because she's Hispanic and she probably had similar taste or or maybe we grew up with some similar like Hispanic products like body care products that she that she enjoys some of the similar scents. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. Like a lot of times fragrance preferences I feel like have to do with your culture and what things you were raised with. It's what you find appealing and enjoyable in perfumes. It's almost like hinting at being a gourmand, but then it's mostly just like a green freshy but with a very creamy base. I really like it. I think I did okay by trying these JLo perfumes. So since we're already doing the JLo ones, I'll just do this one. This is J Love. This was also $11.99 at Ross, same as the other one.
This one's okay. The red with the cheetah print, it goes a little bit, a little bit tackier, but actually I still think it's pretty cute. I love the whole square, square bottle. This one has a very like juicy, bright opening. Very, very juicy. It's a little bit, I don't know if there's apple in here, but I'm getting something that resembles apple. Something along the lines of the Donna Karen apple one, except not as tart. It also reminds me of Bear by Victoria's Secret. I've only smelled that once, so I can't really say for sure. But from the one time that I smelled it in my memory, it gives me vibes of that. But this is very bright, very juicy. It smells like this is this would be a perfect scent for the springtime, but I still have to test these out. A lot of times, cheaper freshies give me this weird synthetic vibe that I'm not into. And these could, these put these have the potential to go that way. So far, this is just bright and juicy. It's like a shampoo-y, juicy scent. Okay, and next I have Absolute Amethyst by Thalia Sovi. And she has this line at Macy's. But I got this perfume for $9.99 at Burlington. I tried another one from her and it ended up, and ended up smelling like bathroom cleaner. The yellow one. So I hope this one's better than that one. Wait, it says absolute amethyst embodies the richness and opulence of the color purple. It exudes luxury, it feels soft and feminine with sensual undertones. I'm not a big fan of purple perfumes, so maybe I should have thought of that before purchasing a purple box. Okay. This bottle, I gotta say, it's almost like antique glassware, almost slightly tacky. Okay, she wasn't kidding when she said this smells purple. It literally, like the first one to two seconds, gave me like a bright grape juice, but like Concord grape juice, like the good one, like Welch's, not like a artificial. And I'm getting like a, is that oud or some kind of wood? like a smoky incense oody vibe. I was not expecting that. I think it's oud or something that resembles oud. It's like a wood, like a super thick, thick, robust wood. Maybe a little bit of smokiness, maybe a little bit of tobacco. It's so interesting. Like this thing, I'm shocked. Like I'm literally shocked that this scent is coming from this 9.99 bottle. It's just really throwing me off. I wasn't expecting that. This is like incense -y, tobacco -y, woody grape juice. It's definitely interesting. It smells like some super high-end niche perfume that I would actually pass up. If I smelled a $200 per fragrance that smelled like this, I wouldn't purchase it. But it's kind of cool to get a $200 smelling fragrance for $10. I definitely want to play with it and see where this goes, but so far, very, very intriguing. I do also pick up maybe like a little bit of a vanilla in the base. And also it leans a little bit unisex because of that strong, robust wood that I mentioned. So this one I've been wanting for a long time. This is Pure Honey by Kim Kardashian. I wanted this for a long time but I was also very reluctant because I couldn't decide if it's something that I would like or not. So many people love this and I've probably been wanting this for like almost two years. I finally just bought it because I've been buying everything on my wish list so my wish list can be nothing that way I can go on a no buy next year how ridiculous is that mindset but yeah I don't I don't question my logic anymore like I'm just here for the ride really gonna play me with that I do remember why I was so reluctant to get this. Okay, first of all, this bottle is actually pretty cute. I made sure to get the smaller one because I was just very unsure. I think it was a Narcissus flower note that I was very unsure about because that's a very mature note. At least for me, it smells something a little bit dated. But you know what? Now that I'm smelling it, this is good. This is really good. 
This has a really, really clean, soapy smell mixed with some honey, mixed with some heavy florals. There's a whole lot going on. It literally smells like if you're wearing a heavily detergent shirt, like a shirt from somebody who really goes hard on that, like gain, you know, that really, really um, detergent smelling clothes. It's almost like those people that like have clothes that their the detergent is still in their clothes even after they dry it. And it's almost like a little bit slimy or thick because they add way too much detergent and it smells really potent and it smells really potent. That's what this smells like with some added floral perfume on top. I'm kind of liking that. I oddly like it. This is weird. Maybe I should have got the big bottle. It was only like three or four dollars more. This is probably more than enough, more than I could ever need. This smells so clean, like a clean, super feminine person. I'm very surprised, but this is good. No wonder so many people rave about it. I get it. And now for the one I'm the most excited about. This is Electric Fantasy by Britney Spears. The reason why I wanted this is because on Fragrantica, some people say that it smells like MAC Candy Yum Yum. I love that perfume. That perfume feels like it could be my signature scent. Feels like it low-key has been my signature scent for the last six months or so. Anyways, so this is Electric Fantasy. Let's see what it smells like. pretty cute. I love the whole ombre effect. You might think it's tacky, but I think it's cute. I do get that sweet and tart type of vibe in here, like Candy Yum Yum, but it just resembles it slightly. It resembles it. It's, it's like they're cousins, you know? But anyways, we don't need to be comparing. We don't need to be comparing it to that one. This one can stand on its own. This is just a juicy, slightly tart fragrance it's super super juicy like that's all i get it's like sweet juiciness some type of like tart either like a berry or guava and it's just really really juicy it's almost so juicy that it's a little bit green and it has a tiny bit of a like fresh unisex vibe like if there was a touch of a freshy masculine perfume added to a super juicy girly perfume it seems like it's going to be perfect for the springtime there's a little bit of a clean freshy vibe in here. There's a little bit of something sweet, something tart, something juicy, a touch of a fresh masculine scent in there too. It's just so yummy. I love it. Literally love. This was a love at first or second sniff, whatever. Okay guys, so there is my haul for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm close to hitting a thousand subscribers and I really want to get there soon. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And after I hit a thousand, I promise I'll never ask again. But like, thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know what videos you guys like. Let me know what videos you prefer so I can make what you guys like. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.